بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم My name is Mohammad Asim. I'm working as DevOps engineer. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up CloudWatch as a logging driver for your microservices. So let's begin. What I'm going to do, I'm going to spin up one EC2 instance and in that particular EC2 instance, I'm going to um, spin up one um, in the next container in docker uh, so with regard to that uh, i've already made a script for you guys and post uh, to my uh, github repository and definitely i'm going to provide you the link as well so this is the uh, directory docker cloud watch uh, logging driver so here i have uh, provided you the script some useful links also the policies you need and um, also i'm going to show you without even uh, logging uh, or spinning up your EC2 machine on AWS, how you can push your local machine logs to the CloudWatch. So uh, first of all, uh, let's start with the basic stuff, uh, basic stuff which is uh, I'm going to launch the EC2 instance and I'm going to attach a role with it. So uh, what I'm going to do, first of all, uh, create IAM role. Uh, in that particular role, uh, I'm going to um, add the relevant policies uh, for only specific uh, CloudWatch. So you can also narrow down the policy. So um, what I'm going to do uh, is to navigate to this uh, policies section and I'm going to create policy. And simply I'm going to Simply, I'm going to add this particular policy. So the policy is uh, with regard um, to the CloudWatch is this one. So uh, what I'm going to do, uh, you have to update your account, and uh, if you if you want to narrow it down, you can create one uh, or specific uh, log group and provide here. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to just uh, make it flexible for this video. <coughs> Excuse me. So here, what I'm going to do is to simply um, provide this account, my AWS account. So I'm going to simply copy this one, and I'm going to paste it here. Further. I can create a specific log group and uh, add here but what I'm going to do um, I'm going to put star here so it, it could be any uh, log group uh, on CloudWatch so click next and next Cloud Geeks um, Cloud watch log policy. So I'm going to save it and I'm going to simply create one role which is going to be assumed by EC2 instance and I'm going to create one role here click on EC2 click next um, and I'm going to attach this uh, particular policy which we have created CloudWatch log policy and I'm going to also add core by SSM so I'm going to open the SSH console so I'm going to um, call this role as uh, my CloudWatch role that would be fine so create this role okay and I'm going to simply now launch one EC2 machine and let's launch T3A yeah medium would be fine so 
this is going to be launched in default uh, PPC and I'm going to simply select this role so that would be fine as well so and I'm going to tag it as uh, cloud watch log driver for microservices so any container I'm going to launch uh, in this particular EC2 machine are going to push logs uh, to the CloudWatch so uh, if I navigate okay I'm going to I'm going to create one security group let's call this CloudWatch CloudWatch okay and I'm going to simply say all traffic that's fine create a new, new key pair watch so I've already uh, made video um, few days ago with regard to the ELK stack and in this particular video I highly uh, recommend the cloud watch login driver so if you haven't watched uh, this particular video you can watch uh, that as well so uh, I'm going to simply launch this uh, okay I thought I've launched it okay anyway so yeah it is launching now so I'm going to have make a shell into that although I can um, even use the user data but I want to show you guys uh, the script as well so the script is uh, pretty much simple in a way that I'm going to spin up um, the Nginx uh, container and I'm going to call this uh, Nginx and the logging driver is going to be AWS logs and the logs uh, region is going to be this one and um, one thing I need to update you with regard to the log group either you can set up your own uh, I mean manual creation of your uh, you can do the manual creation of your log group or you can also do it automatically uh, via these flags or switches so um, here I'm not doing it uh, automatically although if you want to do I will show you uh, the automatic way as well so that particular log group is going to be automatically created so uh, here what I'm going to do I'm going to simply copy this and I'm going to create one log group so I'm going to show you the both ways how you can do uh, I mean different stuff uh, on this particular uh, machine so uh, if I navigate to the CloudWatch simply type cloud CloudWatch and so you have to navigate to the log group section here and if I navigate to log groups and I'm going to create one log group here press control V okay simply create it so this is the same as uh, I've mentioned here and the log stream is going to be automatically created if I navigate to this uh, log group you will see no stream is available so that stream is going to be available and I'm going to run this container so um, what I'm going to do uh, simply I'm gonna I'm gonna copy these commands and I'm going to paste it it is going to install uh, docker and it is going to install the docker compose as well so Let's try to copy this, copy, and if I navigate to this machine. I'm going to click connect.
so it is installing docker docker compose and it is gonna then spin up that uh, particular uh, in the next container and i will show you the command docker logs in the next it will display nothing because we are pushing our logs to uh, aws cloud log uh, oops. so as you know uh, the role is attached to this particular uh, ec2 instance i have not provided any credentials so if i do docker logs and then xc will see nothing so you see uh, logging driver is not supported so where are the logs gone logs are now come into uh, this log group uh, you have to simply refresh it and you will see that custom log stream is going to be available so as far as the um, this custom log stream i need to be update you if you use the ecs uh, you don't have the option to create this custom log stream although you can send logs to the um, cloud watch but the as far as the naming convention of your uh, log streams uh, it is going to be random so uh, this is with regard to the role and you see all uh, logs are coming into this uh, uh, into this uh, cloudwatch log stream and it is really a cool ui so even um, for the development team uh, you can restrict uh, user uh, via the im so uh, i'm going to show you that as well so what I'm going to do uh, if I navigate to the IM section and I'm going to create one group I'm going to call this uh, CloudWatch uh, log group okay let's try it. and I'm going to add that particular policy as well so uh, user uh, users in this group able to um, you know uh, create the log uh, log groups as well so uh, this is the policy attached uh, I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to create one more policy for our users and I'm going to attach that particular policy to that group so if I navigate to uh, this create policy section and I'm going to create uh, one more policy here and this is the cloud watch read only policy for our teams so you have to simply copy this policy and paste it here so the advantage of this that uh, your team is going to set up uh, able to view all the logs uh, in the UI and uh, simply uh, your all container logging is going to be uh, managed or centralized at one place and even if you want um, your developers to uh, push logs from your uh, from their uh, local machine they can do that as well so um, i'm going to call this um, uh, cloudwatch um, cloudwatch uh, pol uh, CloudWatch dev team policy that would be fine. So this is uh, uh, the policy I'm going to attach it with that particular group I have created. So if I navigate to this group section and uh, okay, I'm going to attach policy. Okay, CloudWatch. Uh, this one the cloudwatch dev policy so we have uh, two policies uh, this one just let me show you guys the, what is the policy and the same policy we have attached so uh, so this is the policy uh, I have attached to that particular group and uh, what I'm going to do is to simply uh, add one user create one user and I'm going to call this awesome uh, okay I'm gonna give this uh, 
pragmatic and console access so uh, why i'm giving the pragmatic as access so uh, if you want to push uh, the logs of create log group uh, from his uh, local machine he can do that as well i'm going to show you the way as well and you can also use the management console so um, i'm going to uh, I'm going to attach this user uh, to this uh, CloudWatch log group and that that is it. So create user. So um, what I'm going to do, okay, let me download this CSV and I'm going to show you that what it has, let it open. So If I navigate to this uh, part of downloads, I'm going to grab this uh, CSV and I'm going to show you this one. So uh, this is the user password and access keys and secret access key. So simply I'm going to uh, copy this and um, okay, let me uh, open a separate browser as well okay or uh, uh, or I should use this same one so mm, let me open a different browser okay so I'm going to extensions okay okay now I'm going to simply uh, provide this password and I'm going to paste it here So old password is this one, new is confirm change password. So guys, uh, I'm able to log in. So as far as the policy I have attached to this group, I want to show you if you navigate to the EC2 section. Okay, let it let it go. And if I navigate to the cloud watch, you see no permission. So simply uh, you can provide uh, this IM or attach this IM policy. And simply I'm going to uh, navigate to the cloud watch section and see whether I'm able to see my um, um, logs. So if I navigate to the log group section, I have to um, check the policy as well okay um, I've checked the policies policy seems to be fine and if I navigate to um, this Virginia um, region now um, let's see whether I'm able to see that particular law groups So these are the log groups I've created it. So um, I have logged in as a uh, you know 
asim user i'm able to see uh, log group and log uh, uh, log strings so now uh, what i want to do as uh, you know i have joined this uh, i have joined this group and i'm i'm part of this uh, group cloudwatch log group and um, let's suppose i'm a developer and i want to I want to, you know, push my local machine logs to uh, um, this log, uh, new log group, and I want to show my other team members the what I what issues I have uh, with my application. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, open my virtual machine, and I'm going to um, use Linux Ubuntu uh, for uh, for this day. For this part and i'm going to simply show you guys that how i can create one new um, log driver and and i'm going to uh, push and those logs uh, local container logs to that log group so uh, what i'm going to do is to first of all show you guys uh, this part of the script so in this part, uh, I have uh, I have mentioned some documentation. So uh, in this documentation, what I'm saying there, uh, what I'm saying that uh, you have to update your um, Docker service and you have to create one environment variable. So this environment variable is going to be point to your AWS credential file. So uh, I'm going to show you that as well. So this environment variable uh, AWS shared credential file is going to be uh, this one. So let me show you this one as well. So uh, if I do ls A and I have logged in as a root, who am I? So uh, if I navigate to this uh, directory cd to AWS, you see two files config and credentials so if i do pwd so uh, this is exactly the same path i have uh, provided of this uh, credential file if i get the contents of this credential file these are this but i have to definitely update this so aws uh, configure i'm going to update these uh, credential with this command so these are the default uh, profile i'm using so uh, what i'm going to do is to simply uh, provide the access keys and secret access keys so make sure that i'm able to uh, access that particular uh, aws account so i have i'm using my provided uh, credential so hopefully i have placed it might be there is spacing so just i wanna do double check there is actually a spacing so let me simply type quickly access keys and secret access keys so region is us east one so that's it so uh, this is the one uh, this part I want to show you guys uh, if I navigate to this uh, path or open this in editor I'm going to simply um, open this uh, lib system D docker service okay. remove the space here so uh, this section uh, under services i have added this you have to just make very sure that you should or you must add this line so and and then um then what you have to do is to simply reload the daemon and uh, this command simply reload the daemon and restart the docker service so i'm going to do that as well so I'm going to simply reload the daemon and systemctl uh, restart docker. So also check the status of docker systemctl status. So 
so it is up and running so what I'm going to do here I'm going to simply copy this command here um, and this is going to launch um, tiny busy box container into my machine as I uh, told you that it is going to create log group as well so if I navigate to my this is my root account and if I navigate to uh, cloudwatch section navigate to the cloudwatch log group you will see no uh, log group with, it, with the name cloud geeks so simply I mean I'm going to copy this command okay this this is commented okay I'm going to first of all uncomment it it is going to create a log group for me as well so because in the policy I provided uh, that part also as I shown you uh, in this section I have not uh, used this AWS uh, logs create group to true so I'm showing you the both ways you can also create a log group and it will create a log group it will create a log uh, stream as well I mean if I add a log stream as well if uh, I'm not using a log stream here so you will see it, it will give um, it will give a custom name so i'm going to simply copy and paste this command here so what it is going to do it is going to create one log group and your container logs if you do docker ps hyphen a this container is running docker logs cloud weeks so if I navigate to uh, CloudWatch, simply refresh it. You see, Cloud X is created. So, you see, uh, I have not provided this custom log stream. So, that's why uh, I have used both ways to show you guys. You can use with uh, custom uh, name as well with your stream. So, this stream is created. And if I navigate to awesome user, you see. Uh, if I navigate to the log groups, I should be able to see my um, this new log group and stream here as well. So it will show all the stuff with regard to uh, the logs you have. So uh, that's uh, pretty much about uh, using the powerful AWS CloudWatch logging driver with your microservices you can use with the ECS with the EKS uh, I mean with any Kubernetes service so uh, whether on a different cloud as well so uh, this is the very powerful tool I mean it give you a centralized location of uh, managing your microservices logs so uh, Hopefully, if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day.